Hey guys, Bearded Dragon here. I uh, just decided I would do a video on uh, resources, where you can store your crickets. Uh, they're really, actually, for small crickets, they can't jump out of a hole you put in the top of anything you put them in. But what I found works the very best is a cat litter box. Uh, you can go to the store and buy uh, like cricket keepers, either small ones or large ones that have these little tubes that you can stick in there. Those are nice, but they die easier in there. This, they have more space to run around in, uh, so it's easier so they don't trample themselves to death and you don't end up wasting your money. So the first thing you'll definitely need is a uh, is a cat litter box. Uh, you can use one of a dozen things. Cricket keepers, you could use a old bucket, you can use something with a lid. Uh, it's the best if it has a lid. But, really, this is really nice. Any sort of cat litter box will do. Milk jugs do pretty good, but, it, it, you know, that you could just dump them in with the handle. Uh, all of those do really good as long as you have air holes for them to breathe. Uh, crickets don't take that much oxygen. But, uh, for a uh, large crickets, they can jump pretty high, so you don't want to have a large gaping hole like this. I typically put a piece of paper underneath it, so it, the the you know crickets can't jump out of it. But I think uh, my dad did this for me, so you know it's not my fault. But I have this nice, big, accessible lid right here. You just lift it up and lift it back down. It snaps on. Uh, and then inside, it's got a, a bunch of things to wear. They don't trample themselves to death. It has two little, like, humps right there. So, it stays down easier. Then I have my, uh, water dish. This is actually a lid. A lid of some sort. Uh, it's kind of dirty right now. So, like, just need some sort of little water source. It could be a, a cap of water, or it could be a big thing of water. They typically drown themselves. Uh, if you have a big thing of water like this, that's why I'm going to change it. Uh, and then you need something for them to crawl on. Uh, so they don't end up trampling themselves to death. These are kind of easy because you get, you get these in the bag of your crickets when you go to the pet store. You shake them out on You know, you can let them stay on there and then you can shake them out into the tank. But, uh, you can use an old box. Really anything. But I found this the best. It's got a nice little handle I can carry up go places, you know, move it, uh, so this is, makes a really nice cricket carrier, uh, again, you can go, I don't, uh, there's no problems with the cricket keepers, but I just prefer something like this, uh, I might go get one of those cricket keepers, probably a large one, they're like for 20 bucks, because I have a hard time putting the crickets inside, I have to put them individually, which kind of annoys me, so the best thing to do is to get something large, they can't trample themselves to death, and uh, to keep your crickets alive, you don't have to go buy cricket food. All you gotta do is throw in a slice of potato. and uh, Or you could go throw in, like, leftovers or something like that. They can eat almost anything. Uh, except for, you know, leaves and stuff like that. But, you know, or rocks. but Or plastic or any of that. They just, they can eat, like, leftover food. Like spaghetti or pastas or... Uh, raw noodles work well, or not raw noodles, uh, actually cooked noodles, regular cooked noodles do perfect. Uh, so this is the uh, cricket carrier I have them in. You can see down in there, it's nice. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is what my stand for my tank is going to be. I have all this furniture that we took out of my patio because we never used it. And, uh, this will be my new tank stand. We're going to take out this piece of glass right here. There's a piece of glass right there. We're going to take out that piece of glass, and we're going to paint that all black. Or leave it white or something like that. And then put it up in my my room. So, that'll be nice, easy access. So, you know, the tank will probably rest up about that high. And I can just reach in there and look over and then do all that. Hopefully there won't be as much of a glare either. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, your cricket carrier, it does not matter how big it is. It just has to be, uh, have another level or something so they can jump up on. 
and stuff like that so they don't end up trampling themselves to death. Uh, another reminder is don't leave them in the little bag because one, they'll stink. Two, they're so hard to clean up in there. Three, uh, the rubber band breaks and you have to like blow it up with air. And four, they die so easy in that. So it's the best thing to do is just to go out, buy one of those cricket keepers, go get a box, something like that. And, uh, or like one of those, there's, uh, things I have out there. Uh, so that's pretty much it for that. And, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. See you guys.